That is the sweet spot. She told me she's not gonna cry. Bull. You're not cute at all, are ya? I think that's better than holes. Put your clothes on. I've had a lump in my throat like the whole chores because I'm like, oh, this can't be happening yet. Good morning, back in the truck. It seems to be my life right now, trying to get stuff organized. Today I'm picking up my hinges, the ones I got done a few weeks ago for my my finishing barn. All those new gates that I bought kind of tore off the hinges that I had previously. Took them into the welding shop and I think they're done. So I'm gonna go pick those up, go to the post office, get back and see if I can attach them. Jess and I are at Hamilton's where we get all our welding done. <laughs> so this is a welding shop. And Jess, where did you think we were going? Hamilton, <laughs> like the city. Which is about two hours away. So Mark and I were like, Jess, do you want to go with mom? And Jess is like, as long as I'm home by two, and it was like 10. <laughs> and I'm like, what are you talking about? Because Hamilton's is a, is a whopping 10 minutes from home. And I'm like, yes, we'll, <laughs> we'll probably be home by two. Do you see where I was coming from now? And though? then when we got here, she's like, Oh, oh, Hamilton's, not Hamilton. So yeah, just... That's why I was confused. I was like, why do we have to go all the way to Hamilton to fill up those tanks? Right. So but we, uh, Mark's... What Mark needed were some tanks filled up for his cutoff torches. And the welding okay. shop uh, supplies that. Here are my hinges. Yep. So what we basically did was we just added a little bit of a spacer here so we can use bigger legs and not catch it with the rod. So we're hoping those will work better. Good morning. I am on chore duty today which uh, Hasn't happened in a while. I've had Carissa all summer. She's been amazing. I've actually had to like ask her to take time off. So she took today, tomorrow, and Sunday off to go camping. So I hope she has a good time. She deserves a week off. She deserves a month off, probably. I love doing chores. I'm a weird one. Yesterday, I kind of shut the video off early. We, uh, it got so hot here that we had a few things that we were doing, but it was just, we weren't functioning real well, but it was intense. It was, it was hard to breathe almost. It was so humid. We're locked out. Let's try the back door. That is the sweet spot. Do you ever wonder if you have the right employee? Take a look at your scrapers. That is how much she cleans my floors. Which means I better clean my floors. What are you doing, soccer player? What are you doing? I'm literally not 
nothing. When'd you get here? Just like, yeah, now. Did you drive? No, mom did. Mom did. Yeah. Are you getting excited for next week? Yeah. Are y'all packed up? Yeah, I've been packed for like three weeks. <laughs> so have you. No, wait, I haven't started yet. Your closet? Oh, yeah, everything I bought is thrown in my closet. Yeah. It's all ready to go. But, like, I haven't packed anything that I own. These girls are going to be starting Guelph in a week today. Whoop, whoop. A week tonight, we'll be sleeping in our dorm room. You're in your, your mom and me can cry, cry together. Yeah. She told me she's not going to cry. Bull. She's gonna cry. She's totally gonna cry. <laughs> she cried when she dropped off Erica. Yeah, she she's gonna she's cry. Not gonna cry when she Mom's drops me off because I know her people. Eyes out. You hush. <laughs> <laughs> hush. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna say hi to your mom. Do that. Put your clothes on. I have to. It's chilly in here. Chilly. <laughs> I'm sure I'll adjust. Say hi to the people. Oh, hi. <laughs> Happy Fourth. <laughs> You gotta give sure. me some warning. I think some reppin'. Reppin', reppin'. Yep, I was actually, I got cold when I came in here, so I was gonna put this on. But I did this. And it was like, <laughs> Lucy, Lucy dirt and Lucy hair. Yeah, it doesn't stink though. She's not a stinky dog. Yeah, well, she has her days. That smells nice. Hmm. Actually, freshly washed. I don't know if you guys remember a couple, I guess it was last week, all last week's videos, we had a lot of commentary between Mark and I when we were planting cover crops. And this is the field we were actually planting. I'm over across the road. This is the field we were planting for those videos. And it's coming up really nice. Nice haze of green. Uh, we've had no rain, however. I think we had a little bit of rain right after we planted this. So this field's okay, but uh, there is some fields that haven't seen rain. So we're a bit concerned uh, that it might go dry on us now. From afar... You can row it, which is nice. So at my sheep meeting the other day, uh, one of the sessions was all about maybe feeding cover crops, especially for people that are low on forages or people who really depend on uh, grazing their animals. If they're running out of grazing days, that they could partner up with grain farmers that also like to use cover crops. And if, you know, if they have mobile fencing or, you know, and they, they're able to move their sheep around, that it's a really nice collaboration between grain farmers and sheep farmers. So of course the eyes divert to me a lot when it comes to that kind of stuff. We did have a year here a couple years ago that we were really short feed. So I was able to actually mechanically harvest cover crop. However, again, October, it was wet. Uh, we went through two harvesters. The beggar didn't like it. And then my sheep were really wet that whole entire year. The, the wet feed just made the litter wet. Um, it was harder to feed because they were just consuming so much water. So it's good. And especially if you can dry it up, a little bit before you harvest it it would have been a, maybe a little bit better so would i be able to like to use cover crops a little more yeah but they're doing what they're meant to do for us on our grain side it feeds our soil and maybe not our sheep avalanche i haven't really taken you through chores in this barn in quite a while it really hasn't changed uh we kind of have a system here we sweep up the hay or we pull out any old hay that looks like it's just not getting eaten, throw it over as into the, into the litter and use as bedding. Uh, and then we bed, we bed it up if it looks like it needs bedded, but she's got these bedded real nice. And the good thing about not keeping these pens so full is you can really save on straw because they're just, they're, it's not as wet. So uh, I would say bedding is fine over here today. I'm gonna just sweep up this hay pull out any that uh, looks like they're not eating it and uh, make sure these feeders are, are filled. Cool there. This is why I do chores once in a while. So all I'm doing here is kind of cleaning out these uh, lips. They get humidity in here. And uh, but actually they're really good. It's going really nice. It helps when you do this every day. It just keeps it really fresh. Oh, there's a hole there. Yay. Okay, we're gonna need to do some maintenance over here. You're not cute at all, are ya?
It is uh, well after lunch for me. I'm feeding later right now. I started doing this uh, over the last few lambings, uh, about a month before they're due to lamb. I've been prolonging, I've actually been delaying the start of feed time till about 11 o'clock in the morning. So I feed between 11 and, and noon. And why we do that is we're seeing a little bit of a decrease in the number of lambs born overnight. And uh, I don't know if, if it's actually working or it's fluke. Um, I still do get some overnight, but it's really close to the morning for the most part. Or it's a night that I went, I shut the lights off too early. Like I left at eight because there was no lambing. So we'll see, we just keep playing around with it. Um, I wanna keep, I wanna keep it kind of consistent for a year to see if it actually, if I do feel like it's working. Um, and then, you know, go from there. But I think it's helping. So I gave Goat her own pile of food, but she'd rather eat the neighbors. I gave you your own pile. So this is where you want to be with your friends? That's okay. Bon appetit. I am back across the road. I want to take a measurement of the feeder trough floor. Uh, just they have those holes in it and I'd like to do it while it's fresh in my brain because what happens in this barn is I leave it and then I forget about these jobs that need done because I don't want feed all over the floor. So Mark did the last one, and of course he's letting me figure this out on my own. Um, I'm gonna see what I'm gonna see how he did the last one. I'm wondering if he raised it a bit because the bot the problem with this bottom is uh, it's not level. So I wonder if he uh, attached it higher up. So I'm gonna try to find that feeder that he already fixed and kind of replicate it. I should have done that in the first place. Kind of thought I had it. <laughs> I did not. Okay, here's the one that Mark did. So it's a lot higher than mine. All right, let's see where he put it. This makes sense, because he said he didn't fasten it. He said he just jammed it in here. All right, so it's basically just under this lip. All right. We can make that happen, I think. So I have to run back and get the measuring tape because I forgot it. That might have her beat. It's just friction fit, but it's not going anywhere. I think that's better than holes. Well, it took me a couple tries, a couple measures, but I think I finally got the right template. So I put another quarter inch uh, of width on this board. However, there's a hole inside. <laughs> uh, I'm not really sure what I'm gonna put there. For now, at least we got the ones on the bottom plugged up. So I ended up doing both of these feeders. I'm going to check the other side. I checked them quick this morning and I can't remember if I saw a hole. I don't think I did. Um, but I'm going to double check there. But it's nice to get these jobs done. Anyway. Done. Yay. Right. Oh, good morning. Miss the party. Morning guys, it's Saturday. Today's a day of chores just like yesterday and just like tomorrow. Mark is actually heading to Home Depot to get me some hardware to put on my hinges. He is gonna start prepping back 
there in our woodlot where our little shack is. He is building a cabin out of our own uh, wood. So he's been working away really since, ugh, since the winter for sure. Um, just getting some wood ready and he bought a he bought a sawmill, so yeah, he's hoping he's hoping he's got enough wood to actually get the posts ready to get up. But I think I think this weekend he wants to start prepping the area, so I might take you back there uh, after chores here if he gets back and and have a look at that because it's pretty cool. But the whole area is like covered in poison ivy, so we have to be careful. We are on baby watch. We are down to ten days, you guys, and I'm ready and I'm excited. However, we have not had rain here in a while and our crops are firing up, which means harvest is around the corner. Mark figures our white beans could be 10 days as well, which means white beans, lambing, no kids to help. We gotta figure our stuff out pretty quick. That's the stuff that keeps me up at night. <laughs> we just finished feeding and uh, Little Miss Goat, I'm just really worried. She uh, she took pretty much the whole feeding to get up and even show interest in eating. She's up now. She ate a, she nibbled a little bit at her TMR, but she is not looking, she's not looking spry. Just in the last couple hours I've been watching her. I'm trying to see if her breathing's labored. Got a little bit of food on her mouth, so I think she's been nibbling. But uh, as we all know, we are in her final stretch of days. We're keeping her comfortable, but I have made a promise to myself and to you guys that as soon as I see her struggling, I'm going to have to take action, which I've had a lump in my throat like the whole chores because I'm like, oh, this can't be happening yet. It doesn't look very good though. Pellets. Okay, let me get you some pellets. Yeah. This is just a close-up pellet, so it's got a little bit of glucose in it, so it's actually okay if she wants to eat that. That would not hurt my feelings at all. Nah, she's not eating it. Come on, go. Just play with it. There she goes. Oh. Come on. oh boy. She's standing at the feeder, which is a good sign, but she is not eating. She's just going through the motions. Yeah, you're trying to make me feel better, but. I think her body's failing her. So if she goes in that corner. She's been laying in that corner all morning. Do you want to put some hay in the corner for you? I'll put the hay on the floor. There you go. I don't like the feeder. It's steamy. Here's my screws. I feel bad that you're gonna 
have to mix that all by hand, Sandy. <laughs> I'm gonna watch. Oh! How was how was your last weekend soiree? <laughs> Delicious. Yeah, it was good. Show them our pizza. So good. Here she comes. Comes the boss. Busted. <laughs> Honey. Hi, are you feeling better? Hmm? Looks like you have picked through your hay a little bit. What are you doing? Got some poop. That's good. Hi. Okay. Mm -hmm. How are you doing? Took a couple hours this afternoon with Jack and Jess and went to River Road. It's kind of our new place since COVID, that's the only place really we've gone just because it's outside, have a couple beers and hang out with a couple good friends. So uh, that was really good. This is our last weekend with the kids. It's uh, starting to sink in. Oh, she got up. She got up. Thank you. Oh, she's making me so worried. She's a fighter. So oh. you're my goat. Oh, I love you so much. dog. This is the future site of our cabin. Mm-hmm. <laughs>